Hello, dear friends. They want to convince us that we are not souls, but hackable animals. They want to introduce the idea that we are no longer supernatural beings, but biological robots at their service. Opinion piece. War on awakening. Media seekers. Gradual escalation. Soul misplacement. Battle of perceptions. Fifth generation war. Ridicule of spirituality. Asymmetrical struggle. Censorship and control. Are we hackable beings? Attack on common sense. Unconscious manipulation. Disconnection from reality. Manufactured destructions. Political drama is exhausting. The Great Awakening is just around the corner. Let's start. Awakening those who sleep is a work of mercy. It consists of bringing to memory something already forgotten, making someone reflect or reconsider, making a desire or feeling arise or manifest, or raising issues or topics so that someone is moved to do or say what he didn't think. The term Great Awakening refers to a collective awareness through a massive revelation of hidden truths and questioning of the official narrative. It is a large-scale social and spiritual transformation with alternative interpretations of current or historical events and beliefs in a spiritual knowledge of powers. Definition A spiritual awakening is a profound inner change in which you begin to question old beliefs, perceive the interconnectedness of all things, and feel a deeper sense of purpose and inner peace. It's like opening your eyes for the first time to see the world in a completely new light. Abraham Slow, a pioneer in the field of humanistic psychology, describes self-actualized people as having the marvelous capacity to appreciate again and again, in a fresh and naive way, the basic goods of life, with wonder, pleasure, admiration, even ecstasy, no matter how stale these experiences may seem to others. Remember that spiritual awakening does not mark the end of the journey, but the beginning of a richer, more authentic chapter in your life. Like a free flying bird, you will navigate the winds of life with renewed resilience and joy. Your spiritual journey is one of discovery, exploration, and authenticity. It may not all the rainbows and butterflies, but the sun will rise again, even in the midst of the most difficult storms. Conflict. The fifth generation war against the Great Awakening is a battle of perceptions and information. It is also a cultural and moral war that distorts mass perception into a manipulated view of the world and politics. CGI's Luke Troop talks about the unconscious hacking of humankind and how it plays out. Public opinion is manipulated through disinformation and fake news. In his view, information about the desired world political outlook is ingrained through manipulation of culture at an unconscious level, making it impossible for the conscious mind to even detect it and influencing the political divide to achieve the desired outcomes. They manipulate culture at an unconscious level, meaning one may not be aware of the manipulation because it is happening below the threshold of consciousness, making it impossible for the conscious mind to even detect it. Definition. Fifth generation wars represent a new paradigm in modern conflict, characterized by their focus on asymmetric warfare and intensive use of advanced technology. These wars develop beyond the traditional physical battlefield, extending into cyberspace and mass psychology. Instead of a sudden conflict, tensions slowly escalate through increasingly aggressive cyber and information actions. 
The battlefields are the domain of information, cyberspace, and collective psychology. The strategy is to manipulate public opinion, prolonged psychological operations, the use of networks and media to destabilize, and the attack on perception and feelings rather than reason. In other words, an attack on common sense. Experts claim that we are being manipulated by methods that are impossible for the conscious mind to detect. More and more people are completely disconnected from reality, and this connection is everywhere. Political seekers. Political drama is exhausting and suspenseful. It is a contest of everything and nothing. What is meant to shock has a short shelf life, replaced by new surprises, while complex ideas are condensed into bumper stickers. Voters either tell interviewers that they don't know enough about their options, or turn off the news and insist on who are, re are ready to fill out the ballots today. To be blunt, this political circus is aimed at, at destroying the brain. Our minds cannot function forever under such stress, and that is precisely why there is so much confusion. This is the hallmark of fifth generation warfare, an all out attack of the mind, body and soul. And the purpose of this attack is far darker than simply stealing an election. Censorship and control. Now that they are using artificial intelligence to control emerging public perception, aspects of their agenda can be made manifest without making too much noise. Crimes against humanity can be carried out in broad daylight, and most will not be aware of it. The same goes for political corruption and public persecutions. Such is the power of merging state-controlled censorship with fifth-generation warfare. They want to finish their unfinished agenda. Sadly, we are hackable animals. We can be biologically hacked. It can also hack our minds, and that is how they can introduce the idea that we are no longer supernatural souls. Using the brute force of fifth generation warfare, they can then reinforce this belief subconsciously and systematically condition the masses to accept the, futil the futility of believing God. Adherence to a spiritual tradition will continue to be ridiculed into decline. The world's major religions will continue to be infiltrated and exploited as control mechanisms. Holy wars will be orchestrated to further degrade the value of religion's observance. And having an inherent need for spiritual guidance, many will eventually turn to omniscient, omniscient digital gods. Pearls. Hackers have spied on Freemasons' database. What they have seen has shocked them greatly. They have a complete wealth plan from 1950 to 2050. Caught orders Infowars auction as lawfare goes nuclear, according to Mike Adams. Five teams of assassins target Trump, according to Sorcha Fall. Trump buys popcorn to enjoy the show that is about to begin. JFK Jr. quotes, We are coming home. Final countdown. A massive storm is coming. Operation Kraken on the move. Here comes the sun, ready to shine. Stay positive and feel the energy. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Stay cool. The storm is here and will spare no guilty party. A ray of light unlocks the gaze of humanity and all strands of DNA. We are not silenced because we spread disinformation. We are silenced because we unearthed everything they have worked so hard to hide. More troops have been sent to the Middle East and they must try to incite a full-scale conflict. 
to justify canceling elections in times of war. The elite is in a state of panic. Private jets have been spotted heading to remote hideouts. Seers are resigning and politicians are retiring, but there is no escaping what is coming. Destructions. Manufactured destructions according to Kasharash. Congratulations. You keep falling for the same old stories of destructions concocted by the duck, while behind the scenes they prepare for something bigger, to be unleashed upon humanity. What we see now is a game of clones being used to further destruct, while the real protagonists continue with their plans. Message from Ranra. It appears that the White Hats will state a fake third world party, a scenario, that would actually be a film production with almost no physical harm to the public and would serve as a necessary shockwave to awaken most of the remaining sleepers to the truth of what had really been at stake. Journalist Alex Newman warns of UN plan to take over your life. While everyone was distracted, the global elite got what they wanted. The UN adopted the Pact for the Future on September 22nd, with a very controlling and insidious global agenda, and the mainstream media ignored what, is, what was happening according to Michael Schneider. Quotes from Kabamur. According to Kabamur, UFO sightings are from the Federation. Secret human UFOs could have no intention of being seen. According to Kabamur, in this lifetime, we will not only reach Star Trek level, we will surpass it. Imagine moving forward hundreds of years in the blink of an eye, gaining superpowers and immortality, joining galactic races and entangles in space exploration, and living in paradise forever. This is what the shift, ascension or rapture is all about. Of course, it sounds like fantasy, but that doesn't mean it's not real. I'm here to tell you to have hope because it's coming. According to Kava Moore again, a time in 3D is running out. We can descend between light and dark by observing who chooses peace over war or life over death. The dark option will be promoted as the light option by sinister forces, but Objective morality never changes. It's time to choose. Many anonymous still think this is all a white hat show and are waiting for a big revelation because they don't understand the ascension plan. Full disclosure must occur after the shift and it will be darkest just before it happens. It doesn't matter if anyone believes it or not. Soon everyone will know the truth. There are ancient scriptures that say trash is the god of this world because everything is upside down. That is the big secret. Many of those who present themselves as light in the mainstream media are worshipping invisible negative, negative entities. Angles. The Pleiadians say that among the 200 million incarnated star seeds, there are about 4,000 Ankangles who choose to have a full human experience, flaws and all. You will be shocked when you find out who all of them are. Trump looks up and says he was saved by something bigger than all of us, in quotes. But the scriptures say it's angles who help us. According to Kava Moore, Trump mentions pilots to reaffirm his belief in UFOs, while other politicians and whistleblowers show concern about UFOs disabling nuclear weapons and playing games with the military. Trump has never been concerned because he knows the Federation is with us. Trump is not the saver or the antichrist. He is a soul living a human experience 
like the rest of us. He's also serving a greater purpose at this time in history and knows things he cannot say directly. It's easy to criticize Trump's flaws and mistakes, but we must remember that there are no perfect human beings. He was once among the dark ones, but he was never one of them. They want to destroy Trump because they choose him to be a catalyst for awakening in the Edom's times before our ascension. According to Kavamur again, Yeshua will not return to reign as king of this earth, but will return with angels riding on clouds to take us to a new earth, where we will be transformed in the blink of an eye and perform greater miracles. This is exactly what the Galactics say will happen to us during the shift. Yeshua taught morality, self-empowerment and ascension, not magical blood rituals for angry gods. Humans did not suddenly forget how to build similar structures around the world. There was no global civilization and advanced technology was not stolen. The unexplained wonders of the ancient world are clues left by the Federation to provoke deeper question for awakening. We are here for a reason, to awaken from tribulation before we evolve into ascension. Humans must find the will, the will to change. Americans, Spain will not participate in Chapin's investiture due to the exclusion of the king. Helen becomes a Category 1 hurricane at, and hits southeastern Mexico. Argentina and the UK agree to resume the identification of fallen soldiers in the Falklands. Millet criticizes the UN in his first speech before the General Assembly. In quotes, it is a Leviathan with multiple tentacles. The Argentine president described the 2030 agenda as a socialist supranational government program. The president of Paraguay calls at the UN for physical and economic regional integration. The Dominican Republic calls at the UN for more support to stabilize Haiti. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.